Win! For the Los Angeles! He mobilized an entire front by himself. He was Churchill. But when Churchill became Prime Minister, even the King didn't think much of him. Parliament had no choice but to make him Prime Minister. Because Churchill's previous record was nothing short of abysmal. At that time, Prime Minister Chamberlain's incompetent leadership and his inaction were strongly condemned and criticized. Everyone wanted him out, and a new Prime Minister chosen. But the Prime Minister had only one mission, to lead Britain, which had failed so many times, to victory, and could only succeed and not fail. That night, Chamberlain declared at an internal party meeting that he would voluntarily resign as Prime Minister the next day. Halifax, the Foreign Secretary, was recommended as Prime Minister. The next day, however, Chamberlain tells the King that Churchill will be his successor. But at this time, the King also recommended Halifax to Chamberlain 